We're in Rockaway Beach, New York. I'm Rick Haran, and I'm the owner of Planet Earth Cycles. We're the North American importer for the Green Machine by Flavo Bike. And I've got the Green Machine right here. I'd like to spend a couple of minutes just showing you around the bike and why I think it's the best recumbent made. Uh, it's, uh, this particular model is under seat steering. It's also available with above seat steering. Uh, there are some accessories fitted to this particular bike, and I'll try to point those out as I go through the various features. Uh, this is a sun headlamp. It's uh, one of the best headlights available. Uh, this is actually sold as a green machine accessory by Planet Earth Cycles through Flavo Bike, and uh, it's driven by a dynamo, which is mounted in the front wheel. This particular wheel is not equipped with it, but it is available as an option. Um, I've also got a tail light that's part of the lighting system, also driven by the, the dynamo. And there's internal wiring. So one of the design challenges, which Flavo Bike has really done a good job with, is keeping the frame very clean, not only uh, by enclosing the drivetrain, but by enclosing the wiring system as well. Um, while we're at the front of the bike, I'd like to point out these pedals, which I really love. They're Shimano um, SPD uh, pedals that can either work as a platform for sneakers, or if you use clip-ons, you can use this side of the pedal. Um, the frame itself is really the primary differentiator between the green machine and other recumbents. And you'll notice that you can't see the chain. And the reason is that it's actually integrated in the uh, chassis. And, and there are actually two chains, one going from the uh, pedals in the front back to a roll-off 14-speed internal hub, which is mounted right at this location and then a, a smaller chain going back to the freewheel. Um, it, it's a great system. You can shift while you are stationary. So uh, you can make sure you're in the proper gear before you take off from a sta uh, stop, for instance. Um, besides the internal drivetrain making the bike look very clean, it also reduces the amount of maintenance. Uh, you don't have to uh, clean the chain or grease it up because it's totally sealed. Um, and a, a side benefit is that you can hop on the bike with good clothes and don't have to worry about getting your pants soiled with uh, grease or mud. Uh, these cages are also optional. You can put two uh, water bottles um, on the frame, one on either side. Um, this bell comes with the bike. This mirror is optional. Um, the brakes are uh, disc brakes, they're avid disc brakes, and it's a um, cable system as opposed to hydraulic, but they stop the bike on a dime. Um, you'll notice uh, in the back here a uh, shock absorber, and this comes standard with the bike. Um, it really smooths out the bumps, and uh, it doesn't absorb any of the, your pedal energy as... Uh, as some suspension systems do. Um, there is an optional front suspension uh, that you can use. It's a standard um, mountain bike um, shocked front suspension, but I chose not to get it on this particular model. You'll notice fenders on, uh, on the back and the front, and this helps keep you dry in the rain. Uh, these are also standard equipment. The, um, uh, the seat is designed so uh, you can adjust it both fore and aft, uh, probably about eight inches, and uh, you can also adjust the seat back up or down to uh, adjust the rate. One of the other neat features of the seat is the fact that it's very taut, so you get um, terrific support. And unlike some of the solid carbon seats or fiberglass seats out there, um, you'll notice that this is uh, a, a, a very strong nylon mesh, 
which provides needed ventilation for your back on hot days. The uh, structure of the seat um, allows for the use of a very useful accessory, which is the, um, the, the seat back carrying case. This actually holds about a case of beer, I've learned. And uh, it's very strong. Um, it uh, comes off very easily. So a uh, very useful accessory, one of the, one of the things I would recommend that anybody seriously considering purchasing the bike orders at the same time. Um, comes with a kickstand, uh, which it does a good job of supporting the bike. It's well made, adjustable. Um, you can pull a trailer with this bike. There's a little uh, adapter that you can order that um, allows you to pull some cargo if you're going camping or if you want to pull a trailer with a child in it. A couple of things I've forgotten to mention. Um, there's a, a second optional fork. Uh, remember the first option is the shocked fork. The second option is a mono fork. Um, so it sort of matches the back in terms of the front wheel being supported from just one side. Um, the only limitation of that mono fork is that uh, you cannot use the dynamo with it. So just something to keep in mind. Um, another thing relative to the, uh, the customization of the Green Machine for customers is that um, you can choose whatever color you want. Um, there, it comes in seven different colors. This happens to be one of them. Besides um, the seat being adjustable, the frame itself comes in three different sizes. So when you're ordering the Green Machine, um, we have measurements uh, taken of your legs and torso, so we know what size frame you need and also what size seat you need. So each one, the frame and the seat, come in small, medium, and large. So the bike can fit just about every person of different shapes and sizes. Uh, the wheels are a um, uh, fiberglass, um, but you can order carbon fiber wheels as an option. Uh, also, the tires are, um, these are the standard tires. Super light tires are also available as an option. The bike itself weighs about 35 pounds, so it's no lightweight, but um, uh, it, it's very easy to move. The gearing is perfect, uh, not only for a flat area like Rockaway Beach, but uh, um, I've had very good experiences with it in the mountains. Uh, it, the gears, it's geared so that you can get up any incline and you don't run out of gears when you're going down the hill. I bombed down at up to 45 miles an hour and still had more to go. Um, I think that's about it. I probably forgot some things, but uh, one thing people ask me about is the turning radius, and because uh, apparently some of the recumbents, especially the long wheelbase ones, um, require a lot of space to turn. This one, I, I just actually measured it a few minutes ago, and it's about 15 feet. So what I'm going to do now is get on the bike, and uh, normally I wear a helmet, but I'm going to just get on now and just uh, take a ride down the boardwalk, come back, make a little loop so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like when it's riding. Okay, I'll make an attempt at a fairly tight turn here. And the seat is low enough so you, when you stop at a traffic light, if you're prone to do such a thing, you can put your feet flat on the ground 
and select the proper gear for taking off and just push off. Very smooth ride. Very quiet, very stable. So, if you'd like to know more, please give me a call. The number is 718-530-0040. I'm Rick from Planet Earth Cycles saying good riding.